This is Module 3, Lesson 6 Homework on the back. Number 2. Break apart 54 to solve 54 divided by 6. So I'm going to break apart 54. They've already taken 30 away. So I'm going to think about 54 minus 30. 4 minus 0 is 4. 5 minus 3 is 2. That means I'm also dividing 24 divided by 6. So they have taken 54 divided by 6 and breaking it apart into 30 divided by 6 and 24 divided by 6. 30 divided by 6 is 5. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Counting by 6 is 5 times. So for 24 divided by 6, I'm going to count by 6 is 4 times, or 6 times. Six, I'm going to count by 6s until I get to 24. 6, 12, 18, 24. That gives me 4. Then I'm going to add 5 plus 4 to give me the total for 54 divided by 6. 5 plus 4 is 9. Number 3. We're breaking apart 56 to solve. 56 divided by 7. We started with 56 and took 35 away. 56 minus 35. 6 minus 5 is 1. 5 minus 3 is 2. So I have 21 divided by 7. 56 divided by 7 was broken apart into... 35 divided by 7 plus 21 divided by 7. Counting by 7's to 35, I need to count by 7's 5 times. Now I'm going to count by 7 until I get to 21. 7, 14, 21. That's 3 times. 5 plus 3 is 8. So... 56 divided by 7 equals 8. Number 4. 42 third grade students sit in six equal rows in the auditorium. How many students sit in each row? Show your thinking. So I have 42 third grade students. And they are sitting in six equal rows. I'm going to show my rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have to get to 42 students. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm creating an array to help me. Thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. I have gotten to 42. I had 42 students and I divided them into six rows. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven students in each row. There are seven students in each row. Number five. 
Ronaldo solves seven times six by thinking of it as five times seven plus seven. Is he correct? Explain Ronaldo's strategy. So he is saying seven times six is the same as five times seven plus seven more. Let's count by five seven times. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. That gives me 35 plus seven more. I can break apart the seven into five and two, which means I can add 40 plus two, giving me 42. If I count by sixes seven times, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. That also gives me 42. So he is correct. He used the distributive property.